All right. I hope you guys had fun playing B Washington and uh, you were able to interact. Uh, it's always fun to get the little dispatch that comes up and tries to throw a wrench into the works and hopefully you chose correctly, but um, interesting. Uh, well, let me, let me point this out. So as we're looking at this, this is uh, Emmanuel Lazarus's painting of um, Washington Cross in the Delaware. Of course, it's, it's exaggerated as far as the ice chunks. There was ice in the river, but not like that. Um, Washington wouldn't have been astride as he was here, right? But uh, interesting to note that this gentleman right here is future president James Monroe depicted in there as well, okay? Uh, and the boats that they would have taken over were called Durham boats, which had looked a little more of a higher um, side to it. All right, so uh, the battles of um, Trenton and Princeton sort of uh, reignite the, uh, the, the passion that the soldiers have. They re-up. Washington spends the summer of 76 and the 77 in Marstown, New Jersey, and then um, fighting uh, begins again uh, towards the end of the summer. Uh, and the British have left New York, and uh, it is not known essentially where they're going. So they wind up going down um, and are going to um, sort of enter into Philadelphia from uh, a southerly route, right? So. Um, they enter into the Chesapeake and Delaware Bay and then begin uh, their, their uh, march across uh, that's the upper part of Delaware and, and wind up in Brandywine, Brandywine Creek. And this is where Washington uh, engages with the British, right? At the uh, Battle of Brandywine, September 11, 1777. And the thing that happens at the Battle of Brandywine is that uh, Washington's forces, there were all of these fords, right? And we, of course, we know of Chad's Ford today, right? Uh, but there were all of these fords, and Washington didn't defend the northernmost ford. And that's where the British were able to advance and come down and begin um, a sort of a flanking attack on Washington's army, which um, causes him to flee. Now, again, this is another loss for Washington, who's, who's starting to mount up the losses, right? Um, and meanwhile, up, up north, there's a gen gentleman by the name of uh, Horatio Gates, who's another uh, former British officer fighting on the side of the Continental that's starting to rack up some victories. And so there's a lot of dissent heading into uh, Valley Forge as to whether Washington should be the guy for the job, right? Um, and so this is actually interesting. So, the, the, so if you ever have a chance to, you can go to Brandywine Battlefield, which is interesting, and you can go to Birmingham where most of this is fought. They do a reenactment on September. 11th of 1777, uh, Marquis de Lafayette is famously injured here as well. <coughs> and then of course there's the engagement, more of a skirmish than anything else at uh, Germantown. The Chew House, uh, which I believe this might be the Chew House uh, here, um, has uh, bullet holes uh, from the battle still into in, in the uh, stonework of the house, which you can see. Um, and again, this was another route which caused Washington to flee and then he eventually winds up in Valley Forge, right? Uh, and so this is where we're going to stop here because this is a pivotal point. This is where Washington's ragtag army almost um, starves itself into uh, the abyss, but is brought uh, together by the, the uh, work of one man named um, Baron von Steuben, who comes to Washington with a letter of introduction from Benjamin Franklin. Von Steuben uh, is a Prussian officer who has famously over embellished his war record and um, isn't nearly the rank or the prestige that he says he is, but he is effective nonetheless, right? So I'm gonna have you guys do right now is watch a, uh, a film done by Mount Vernon called Winter Soldiers. It's about, it's about a half hour, so uh, it'll take you a little bit of time, but um, it's really worth uh, checking into and we can sort of see how this ragtag army comes out a, a more uh, viable fighting force. So um, go ahead and click on that link and enjoy um, seeing Winter Soldier. <laughs> 